when you say friend or foe, was it foe on the pitch for you, Jordan? I'll say friend. Oh. I know. Karifa Yao joining us here on One Nation. How's it going, Karifa? Yes, everything's well and you. We are great over here. We're even better that we get to chat with you because we're so excited to what's, you know, what's in store for you this season. I guess first things first, uh, you're now with the Vancouver Whitecaps. They picked you up in the re-entry draft of, of 2022. What are some of the things you're looking forward to? What are some of the things you're even just learning about some of your new teammates here? Uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm still adapting, you know. I'm, uh, I'm feeling more confident that uh, I'm finally uh, playing in the MLS again. And uh, yeah, I love the team. I love the way we play. And yeah, I love, I love my, my teammates. So yeah, I'm really excited for, for this season who's coming. Mon frère, I gotta say, <laughs> ça va. I'm trying to work on my friends, Andy. You gotta work on it. Uh, <laughs> wait, your, 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 friend, your, your friends on the field is good, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to know that language that he used on the field en français. Oh man, I think Cedric Toussaint, he was always teaching me like droit or right or left. I always got it mixed up, so I just stuck to English. I said, you know what, before <laughs> I send him off the pitch, I was like, let me just... You let just, me just kept it straight. You're like, I'm not going left or <laughs> right. Let me just stick to English. <laughs> no, um, so congratulations on your move. Uh, I just specifically want to talk about your pathway because I think we're going to see a lot more players that played academy or signed to an MLS team, kind of on the bubble uh, where they're going to be within the season, go to the CPL, get minutes, get to develop, and then now you're at Vancouver Whitecaps. Just tell me how that, that feels, like playing in the CPL and kind of what that did for you in your career. Uh, honestly, it was really a, a good decision for me. Uh, those last two years with Cavalry was amazing. Like you said, after playing academy, uh, coming to the CPL, it was like um, a good opportunity because, you know, we're not playing uh, against kids. We're playing against, you know, against men, against professional pair, against against guy who has experience. So within those two years, I, I learned a lot. Uh, playing some minutes too helped me um, improve my confidence, my uh, my decision making. So yeah, those two years, like I said, with Cavalry and Tommy it was amazing. I, I learned a lot and I'm really happy that I did those two years because now I become more a man and I, I improve so much and now I think I'm ready for, for the next step. Yeah, Kreef, I don't think anybody's surprised that you made the step to MLS just based on the way you were playing in the Canadian Premier League. We all knew that it was a matter of time that you would be back in Major League Soccer, and now you are with Vancouver. What is it that you feel you need to, to do, maybe show Vanny Sartini, where you could be a regular player in the lineup? Uh, I think, honestly, just play my game, uh, like usual, uh, you know, be solid. Uh, make good tackles, play simple, have good passing, and you know, make good decision on the ball, and um, and you know, be a leader. I think that's what I need to do. Okay, how's Vanny? I gotta ask him about Vanny Sartini. Yeah, go ahead. We want to talk about characters and someone we, we try to speak another language with, right? Because Italian. <laughs> Is he equally a character in training than he is when he's on the sideline during a game or even when he's doing interviews with us? Give us a little intel on Mr. Sartini. <laughs> yes, he's, you know, um, how can I say that? He's like a, a, pa a passionate coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> uh, you want everything to be good, but, you know, that's the... Uh, that, that, that is the minimum we have to do good. So, yeah, he's a passionate coach. That's going I say. You've had two passionate coaches, because I know Tommy Wilden Jr., for me, uh, outside of Pamadou Ka and the, and the CPL, like, he's one of those coaches that you want to play for passion always he's annoying too man i remember playing you guys like he'll talk to you at halftime or talk to opponents but that's what you need in a manager he's just like he disrupts things you know for the other squads um yeah. so it's nice that you kind of have similar guess big energy coaches like you're going from one to the next yeah that's true to me uh, like, like you said he's really passionate too he hates to lose every 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 time he wants to win so that's really good to have, you know, those mentality of those two coach. Every every time you, they want to win, so that's good. How do you feel, Karifa, with um, if you're looking at the national team and you're looking at an area that needs players, needs young players coming up? I, again, I've said on the show, Andy, like I wish I was maybe two inches taller and 10 years younger because to play center back for... <laughs> 
the, the for the Canadian men's national team. It's open. It's vacant. Is that a goal that you're trying to reach soon? And don't give me the diplomatic answer that, oh, it'd be nice to play. I want you to tell me when you're going to play for the national team and if this is like a goal that you feel is attainable. Yes, it's it's a goal that you know uh, I I really want to to happen. Uh, I wanna I'm gonna work hard for it, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what happens. Hey, I mean, it's it's a it's a valid question because you have been called up at the youth level with the Canadian team. So, and this is something that we would we love to see the progression of players, and why not have a chance to represent the Maple Leaf? I know that you know the season is yet to kick off. You're not playing in front of of home fans, but I wonder if you do feel that the Vancouver Whitecaps, and obviously with the experience of the Canadian Championship, they're entering this season, A, obviously wanting to make the playoffs. I feel like that goes without saying, Karifa, but you're also entering this as the defending Canadian champs. Mm. So you have an MLS season that you want to focus on and you want to make the playoffs, but you also have a Canadian Championship that you know starts a couple months later. Uh, do you feel that, that the Vancouver Whitecaps are the defending champions and then there's this, there's this energy about the team? Yeah, I definitely definitely feel it because, like you said, we play in, in four competition this year, so we know we're gonna have a, a lot of games. We know that we're gonna face a, a lot of hard opponent. So already in preseason, you know uh, the mentality of the guys and you know the the mentality of the group. They 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 all want you know to to play good in the first game. So after it, for the rest of the season, you know we we have like a good momentum for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, the mentality is good. We, we feel like um, we want to to win all four cup. We want to to go far for all four competition. So yes. One thing it, it pains me to to say because obviously we competed against each other for two years. But I will give a little bit of a compliment. What I've liked about you, Karifa, is that. You play the game hard, how you're supposed to play as a defender, man. No nonsense. If someone needs to get kicked, they get kicked. But you actually didn't talk a lot. Like, you didn't talk smack, you know? And I think also playing with Cavs, there's just a lot of players. And I know you're smiling because, you know, <laughs> half your team just talks, just run around talking. So when you know you go to Calgary, you're hearing the noise. I'm going to just tell you to continue on, go kick people, don't say much, and uh, play the game how it's supposed to be played, man. But good luck with everything, honestly. You're a very good player. I, w I want the best for you, for sure. Thank you a lot, Jordan. Thank you a lot. Yeah, and you are going to have a very busy season because I know you're saying four competitions for, for people. Um, we need a bit of a refresher. Obviously, you know, CONCACAF Champions League, you're in that. You have the MLS season, you have Canadian Championship, and then you have the League's Cup. Now you're going to be playing a, against Liga MX teams. That's, that's another challenge that has to be pretty thrilling, right? Yes, it's really excited. A new competition against a Mexican team. So, yeah, it's going to be a good challenge. Well, we wish you the best of luck in your preparation. The season is just uh, you know, around the corner, and we can't wait to see what the Vancouver Whitecaps can do. Karifa, thanks for taking the time here on One Nation. Thank you. Thank you to you, too. I appreciate it.